Hi, Paul here from GenXMix.com with today's celebrations and a quick journey down memory lane for February 14th, 2024. Valentine's Day, or St. Valentine's Day, is celebrated on February 14th each year. The holiday traces its roots back to ancient Rome. Legend has it that the day is named after St. Valentine, a Roman priest who defied Emperor Claudius II's orders by performing marriages for young lovers in secret. Valentine believed in love and marriage, even when it was forbidden, and his actions earned him the title of the patron saint of love. He's just one of the many Catholic saints named Valentine. Historians believe that the modern-day image of St. Valentine is actually a consolidation of several people named Valentine over the first few centuries of Christianity. Around the Victorian era, Valentine's Day evolved into a celebration of romance and affection marked by the exchange of gifts, cards, and tokens of love. While chocolates have long been a traditional gift, some argue that diamonds are a superior symbol of affection. Diamonds symbolize eternity and strength, reflecting the enduring nature of love. Plus, they don't add inches to the waistline. If you'd like to celebrate the holiday but aren't into all that lovey-dovey stuff, St. Valentine is also the patron saint of epilepsy and beekeepers. So invite a friend over tonight for pizza and watch the latest Jason Statham movie The Beekeeper on Amazon. A holiday important to some Christians today is Ash Wednesday. Today marks the first day of Lent. Some churches will hold special services today where the palms from last year's Palm Sunday are burned, symbolizing our return to dust, and a small bit of ash is placed on the parishioner's forehead. If you see someone with a cross-like smudge on their forehead today, it's okay not to say anything or simply to wish them a blessed Ash Wednesday. National Organ Donor Day is a day that we celebrate life, particularly the thousands of lives saved each year through organ donations and the millions of people whose lives are changed by human tissue. Most people think of donating organs like kidneys, liver, lungs, and heart, which are important, but don't realize the huge impact that tissue donations like corneas, fascia, and tendons make in people's lives as well. If you're already registered to be an organ and tissue donor, good for you. If you're not, today is a good day to learn more about organ and tissue donation so that you can make an informed decision when you register. Today we also celebrate National Cream-Filled Chocolate Day. Let's all take a moment to appreciate the artistry and craftsmanship that go into creating these wonderful confections. Whether you're treating yourself to a box of assorted chocolates or sharing them with a loved one, indulge guilt-free and savor every creamy bite. After all, life is too short not to enjoy the sweeter things. Some celebrities that influenced or entertained us Generation Xers celebrating February 14th birthdays include comedic actor Simon Pegg who was born today in 1970. Peg plays Scotty in the new Star Trek movie and was also in How to Lose Friends and Alienate People and Absolutely Anything, a very underrated movie with some great stars. Peg is commonly associated with Nick Frost, who co-starred with Peg in the movies Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, The World's End, and one of my favorite Simon Pegg movies, Paul. No, the name has nothing to do with it. It's just a really great movie. Enrico Colantoni from Toronto, Canada turned 61 today. It doesn't matter if I see him or simply hear his voice. The first role I think of him is Elias from Person of Interest. He was one of those bad guys you kind of root for in the end. He's been in other well-known movies and TV shows, including Veronica Mars, Just Shoot Me, the Netflix series Travelers, and of course, he played Mathazar in the awesome sci-fi comedy Galaxy Quest. Dawnee Guerrero was born today in 1978. She was in the movie Black Panther, but is best known for her role as the sword-wielding zombie slayer Michonne on The Walking Dead. You can catch 11 seasons of Walking Dead this month on Netflix. Drummer Kenny Hyslop of Simple Minds was born in Helensboro, Scotland in 1951. Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20 was born today in West Germany in 1972. I know, right? Remember when we actually had to differentiate East from West Germany? Thomas is the writer and lead vocals on Real World, 3AM, and Push off of Matchbox 20's first album, Yourself or Someone Like You, which released in 1996. Raymond Teller, 
who's better known as Just Teller, the mute partner of Penn and Teller, is celebrating number 76 today. The musical Grease premiered off-Broadway at the Eden Theater today in 1972. The show became an instant hit that still gets an occasional revival and spun off the popular movie with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Muskrat Susie, Muskrat Sam, do the jitterbug down in Muskrat Land. Daryl Dragon and Tony Tennille, more commonly known as the Captain and Tennille, were married today in 1974. And they whirl, and they twirled, and they tangoed. The movie Wayne's World with Dana Carvey and Mike Meyer opened today in 1992. The movie has an awesome soundtrack, featuring songs by Cinderella, Gary Wright, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper, and Eric Clapton. Of course, it also features the classic scene with the guy singing along to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody that still gets lots of plays on YouTube. The soundtrack was just as popular as the movie, going to number one on the Billboard 200 and was certified double platinum in 1997. Vince Neil chose car racing over music in 1992 and was asked to leave Motley Crue. Neil rejoined the band in 1997. Silence of the Lambs released today in 1991 and Vegas Vacation released in 1997. The B-52s performed their first live show in their hometown of Athens, Georgia, today in 1977. The song Love Shack would be released 12 years later in June of 1989 on the album Cosmic Thing. There are several stories about the song Love Shack's lyrics referencing memories from when the band was first getting started. Even though Love Shack is the B-52's biggest hit on the pop charts, when I bought Cosmic Thing, the songs I listen to most and still do are Rome and Deadbeat Club. The song The Way You Move by Outkast has been at the heels of the number one song on Billboard's Hot 100 for the past eight weeks. Today, in 2004, it finally kicked Hey Yeah by Outkast from the number one spot after nine weeks at the top. February 14, 1986, Frank Zappa was tonight's guest on Miami Vice, Depending on where you lived, a dozen roses purchased on Valentine's Day was going to cost you from $50 to $75, and How Will I Know by Whitney Houston was the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. You can listen to songs by Queen, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Whitney Houston, and more all day on Gen X Mix, available 24-7 at genxmix.com, the Live 365 mobile app for Apple or Android, or on Amazon Alexa. I hope that you enjoyed today's show. Be sure to push the plus, follow, or subscribe button now so you don't miss out on tomorrow's Gen X Mix today.